folks, I came to New York today and uh, I'm just feeling the spirit. So I wanted to give you guys a look at the home of Malcolm X in Queens. This is 2311 97th Street, folks. 2311 97th Street here in Queens. This is the house where Malcolm, Dr. Betty Shabazz and his children, his four daughters. The house has been here in Queens all these years. And you can see it's got quite a bit of fencing around it these days. Back in those days, this lot, let me back up a little bit so you can get a better view. February 14th, the morning, early in the morning, February 14th, 1965, this is his house that was firebombed by the Nation of Islam. And we know now definitely that they were the culprits. Here is the house, folks. After the fire bombing, once uh, Minister Farrakhan was put in Malcolm's place at number seven, mosque number seven in Harlem, this home was uh, fixed up. Uh, the fire damage uh, was all repaired and then it became the home of Minister Louis Farrakhan. But it's on a quiet street here in Queens. This lot here, there wasn't all this fencing. The home of Malcolm X and Dr. Betty Shabazz and their four children. She, of course, she was pregnant with the two twins, Malika and Malak. And they were awakened in the cold of the February night to see their home ablaze, ablaze. set by the Nation of Islam. One of the most dastardly crimes in our history. A black mark, a black stain that they'll never, ever, ever be able to wash away, folks. I just thought I'd come here today and just reflect on this incredible history. There's the house. Minister Malcolm X. L. Hodge, Malik L. Shabazz. Dr. Betty Shabazz lived when he was the minister of Muhammad's Mosque, number seven. This was a firebomb the morning of February 14th. 1965, just one week is brutal assassination. All oh, the stories this house could tell. The stories this house could tell. Is this house as well? When Dr. Betty Shabazz was in the hospital giving birth to their fourth child, their fourth daughter, Gamilla, Malcolm went to move the car and he was chased down the street by knife-wielding assailants of the Nation of Islam, yeah? 
Yep, that's what the brother had to deal with. So I didn't mean to be long, folks. I just wanted to show you a piece of our history. Here it is. As the sun goes down in Queens, New York, it's the home of our brother, Malcolm X, El Haj Malik El Shabazz. This is the home where he was awakened in terror. Awakened in terror. Firebomb of the home. And he would have about one week to live. Oh, so sad. <laughs>